Hello, welcome to the world of data science and in this video we are going to discuss about a uh, Bayesian classification problem. Um, I have divided that video uh, into two different parts. In the part one video, we are going to discuss about the basic definition and the interpretation and in part two of the video, we are going to solve a classic example using Bayesian classification technique uh, within five steps. Right. And in the current video, in the part one video, we are also going to discuss about some basic uh, uh, examples on how do we identify the conditionally independent events as well. Right. Now, what is Bayesian classification problem? But before we move on to the definition and the formula, let's look at the classic example um, of a cricket match where we have a, we have a new cricket match that is going to happen today. Uh, between uh, India and Pakistan. Now, we would have probably seen that um, based on the history, historical data uh, collected, uh, let's say based on the 100 uh, matches from India versus Pakistan, we have seen that 16% of the times India has won the match, just an example. Um, now, that is going to tell us because, the, because based on the history of the data, we have uh, seen that for a given uh, pitch and for the given so and so country and for the given weather conditions and India um, winning the toss and uh, choosing to bat first or bowl first has yielded as 16% uh, winning chance in the history, right? Now, based on that, we are going to calculate the new probability and that is what is called as posterior probability and that is nothing but the Bayesian classification problem because we have the prior data, which is nothing but the prior probability distribution, which is nothing but historical data collected for close to 100 matches or 200 matches. Now, based on that 100 to 200 matches, we calculate a new probability that is nothing but posterior probability. And based on that probability, we're going to make a prediction that is called as probabilistic predictions because uh, a uh, we, we cannot obviously uh, be 100% certain unless and until you have a biased data, right? So that is why it is called as uh, probabilistic predictions because we have close to 16% or 70% winning chance if India chooses to back first if, uh, if India wins the task and so on and so forth, right? And there is one classic example of a Bayesian classification problem as well. Now, remember that each observed training example in the 100 data set, it is going to incrementally increase or decrease the estimated probability as well. Because even in, in the 100 matches, even if one single match, India has um, lost the match, even though India has, uh, uh, India has uh, uh, won the task and chose to bat first, but still India has lost the match and that is going to impact the prior probability as well as the posterior probability distribution as well, right? And that is what we see that each observed training example can incrementally decrease or increase the estimated probability that a hypothesis is correct. What is an hypothesis? This here in this case, India winning the match is going to be an hypothesis, right? Now, there is one more example that I wanted to bring it up here where we have a palmistry where we, we predict a, a person's nature. Uh, let's say it has been proven that uh, a person with uh, a specific pattern of headline or lifeline uh, has been so intellectual, uh, right? That is nothing but a probabilistic predictions. Remember that this is not a simple prediction. It is a probabilistic prediction because based on millions of data uh, that our ancestors have seen, they have found that a person um, with a lifeline like this and this pattern uh, had been so intellectual and romantic in nature. And so if you have this kind of uh, lifeline and headline, you will be um, romantic and intellectual as well. That is just an example, right? But, but that is just a probabilistic prediction because based on the prior probability, you are also calculating the new probability, which is the posterior probability, and that is going to play a crucial role. Now, um, 
This is how we, we, we use uh, the formula which is uh, to calculate the uh, posterior probability uh, for a given hypothesis is correct or not, right? This is nothing but the attribute and this is nothing but the um, um, hypothesis. But we can talk about this in the classic example as well when we actually solve the problem. Um, but for this to work, we also need to understand something called uh, independent events and the conditionally independent events as well. But Bayesian classification assumes that all these events are conditionally independent, but they are actually um, dependent. But let's not dig into that uh, in detail, but at least uh, let us understand uh, um, what is uh, a conditionally independent, uh, uh, what is well, what do you mean by conditionally independent uh, actually? Right. Let's say um, if a if a person called John is uh, trying to reach home from his uh, work location in his own car, and Mary is using her own car um, to reach back home. They live in the same apartment community in a two different apartments, and because of this, right, we see that these two are independent events because John reaching home and Mary reaching home. They are not related to each other. They are completely independent because John is going to start at 5 o'clock or 5.30 5, 5 or 4 o'clock whenever he wants to do so. And similarly, Mary can start back home from office whenever she wants to do so. So they are not um, dependent on each other because they are having their own car. Now that is called as conditionally independent event. Now let's say... Um, there is an external factor called snowstorm which is going to influence, right? Because the snowstorm within the same city may probably influence John reaching home on time and Mary reaching home on time as well, right? That is called as conditionally independent because there are two different events which is independent events and an external event which is going to influence John reaching home and Mary reaching home and depending on a specific condition and that is what is called as conditionally independent events as well and even in our classic example where we have seen that tossing tossing the coin um, and choosing the uh, uh, choosing to back first or bowl first and again the ground all these are completely independent events as well right Similarly, John reaching home and Mary reaching home are completely independent event, but the snowstorm is going to directly influence John and Mary reaching home and that is what is called as conditionally independent. But let's say if John and Mary are doing carpooling, in that case, they are in the same car. So in that case, they are no longer independent, but they are dependent. And if a snowstorm is there, which is the external factor which is going to influence John and Mary. And in that case, it is called as conditionally dependent events because already John and Mary are dependent to each other because they are doing the carpooling. And because of that, even the external factor is also going to be um, influencing John and Mary together, right? And that is what is conditionally dependent. But Bayesian classification assumes that uh, the events are conditionally independent. And that is why we have to understand what do you mean by conditionally independent events. Now, we have given another example. Uh, this is one of the beautiful examples that uh, we have seen in the artificial intelligence book by Stuart Russell and Peter Norvig, where he has mentioned that um, you have a new burglar alarm installed at your home and uh, that alarm is uh, uh, fairly reliable in detecting a burglary as well as uh, uh, some kind of minor threat. But if you have uh, two neighbors who had been promising to you and who had promised to call you at work when they hear the alarm, and that kind of belief network can be represented like this, right? Because John calling the police and Mary calling the police are two different or two independent events, but these two independent events are going to be influenced by the external alarm installed at your home, right? This is at your home installed. And remember that we are talking about Mary on the um, other hand, she likes to hear loud music and she misses the alarm as well. And that is where the actual probability comes into play because 
sometimes even even if there is an earthquake or a burglary it doesn't matter mary sometimes misses the alarm because she always listens to the loud music and because of that she misses uh, the alarm completely as well and that is where the probability of mary calling the police is also going to play some kind of vital role here in detecting the alarm and similarly john also sometimes misses the alarm because he confuses uh, sometimes with the telephone ring as well and suddenly calls police as well right but with, with all these factors into place this is one type of belief network which we should understand there are two different or two independent events which is conditionally independent or going to be influenced by an external factor and that is what is called as conditionally independent event and for bayesian classification we should definitely understand the bayesian prediction model works on assuming that they are two different events and they are conditionally independent as well right um i hope this gives a good insight about how the conditionally independent events work but in the in the in the, in the part 2 of the video we can um discuss a little bit beyond this model to understand how do we actually apply the bayesian classification knowledge in understanding uh, and solving a example problem within five steps because in lot of your youtube videos you would have probably seen lot of uh, um tabular columns that you may have to do it to find the bayesian classification example problems but here in this video which is going to be in part 2 we are going to solve the bayesian classification problem within five steps uh, please keep watching the space for more videos especially the part 2 to understand or to solve a bayesian classification problem as well thank you for watching this video thank you so much